Michael, yeah, I, <laughs> but Saki saying that they were surprised by it. We had Bernie Sanders claiming to be surprised. I mean, I don't know. I'm a, a casual observer of this. I, it, it looked like Manchin was never going to vote for this thing. Why are they so surprised? I can't believe I'm saying this, but we all should have listened to Ilhan Omar <laughs> because <laughs> Ilhan Omar was right when she said that everyone knew uh, Manchin was going to hate this sort of thing. And we all know he's, a, he's certainly much too moderate for this radical leftist bill. So yes, this is a big win for the American people, but I feel that we're all being too happy and optimistic here for conservatives in this era. So let me bring us down a little peg. This win shows us how much we have lost because what we are seeing right now is that Joe Biden is going to end his first year without a major legislative achievement. He's gotten basically nothing done in the Congress, and yet he's gotten a ton done. We've got de facto amnesty for illegal aliens, a wide open border, mandatory masking and vaxxing all over the place through OSHA for 100 million plus Americans. The list goes on and on and on. He he surrendered Afghanistan. He killed the Keystone Pipeline. We could be here all day talking about what he's done. He's just done it outside of the ordinary constitutional means. And, and I think what it shows you is that whatever happens in Congress, Joe Biden is going to rule however he wants. And maybe there's some a little bit of silver lining in this, Sarah, that he's only got about 11 months left because... And, and this one going down doesn't look good for it to be revived before the 22 election. 22, it, it's a Republican House. It's likely going to be a Republican Senate. He's going to get nothing done after that. So he better hurry up. Yeah, I think there definitely will be a reckoning, uh, no matter which way you look at it, in 2022. So he does not have much time left. Uh, I will, too, just say that this is kind of what happens when you allow the kids to sit at the adult table for far too long. The left has allowed these radicals to infiltrate their party. I mean, I saw, you know, you played Cory Bush and Ayanna Presley and, uh, you know, uh, AOC and all of these people who really don't deserve a spot at the table, yet they've gotten one because the Democrats have decided to adapt to the, the squeaky wheel gets the grease, right? And they're the loudest. And so the Democrats somehow think that they should own the party. And thankfully, there is at least one Democrat who remembers who it is that he works for, which is not Joe Biden. It is not Chuck Schumer, but it is the American people and more importantly, his own constituents. So, I mean, we can at least know that Joe, Joe Manchin is the only one in the Democrat Party, uh, possibly, who remembers who it is that he works for. Yeah, he hasn't had his brain removed yeah, once, he, once he hit D.C. so far. Um, Michael Knowles, let's pick up on what Sarah said. You know, these, these squad members, they've been full. You know, fool me, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I, don't, I think they're going to be all out. They're going for the socialist agenda for the next 11 months until they get replaced. Your thoughts on what D.C. is going to be like for 11 months with these squad well, members who've been screwed? This is, this is the big debate right now, is whether or not it matters that you do what the American people want you to do. And the squad have made the bet that it doesn't matter, and being popular and pushing for popular policies just doesn't really matter because they can cling on to power. Joe Manchin is saying, no, I, I don't think that's quite right. I think we, it still matters if we serve our constituents. That's going to play out right now. And being maybe the most pessimistic person on the panel right now, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> so sure that all of these squad members are going to go out. And, I, and I'm not so sure that the way our government actually works uh, really relies so much on popularity. I don't think it's exactly like Schoolhouse Rock, I'm a bill up on Capitol Hill. <laughs> I, I think we're, we're in the Fauci era of government where accountability doesn't really matter. Yeah, anymore. no accountability. They just do what they want to do on Capitol Hill. Michael Knowles, Sarah Gonzalez, always great seeing both of you. Thanks for joining me. Great to see you. Thanks, Eric. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.